A robotic colectomy is a type of minimally invasive colon surgery that utilizes the typically the da Vinci robotic system to take out a segment of the colon with small incisions, with less tissue trauma, improved visualization, and improved dexterity to the instruments that are available to the surgeon. So when people hear about robotic surgery, they have these visions of an uh, autonomous device doing the, the operation upon them. In actuality, the robotic da Vinci system utilizes a console at which a surgeon sits and controls all the movements of the arms attached to the patient. A computer system translates the surgeon's movements into movements of the robot arms. This is one of the instruments that the surgeon controls sitting at the console. It's attached to one of the robot arms and placed into the abdomen. This particular instrument is a bowel grasper. It allows the surgeon to safely hold the colon, move it around the abdomen, and secure it in position to do the fine work that he needs to do. The tip of the instrument has several degrees of rotation, and the surgeon has control of that tip. It also is attached to electric cautery and allows for control of bleeding. In all minimally invasive surgery, whether it's laparoscopic or robotic, small incisions take the place of the long, typical traditional incision that oftentimes may be from the xiphoid to the pubis. The small incisions are intended to put trocars in, and trocars are the means by which instruments are inserted into the abdomen, and then whatever maneuver we need to do inside the abdomen is visualized with a camera system. The number of incisions is dependent on the procedure that we're doing and the number of instruments that are needed at any one time. Typically for colon surgery, you'll have between four and six small one centimeter or smaller incisions. One other thing that's unique to robotic colon surgery specifically is you need to get the specimen out somehow. And oftentimes that involves a small incision that's usually only about one to two inches in length. And that's usually placed either around the belly button or down in the area where a C-section incision might be. And what's special about robotic surgery is that even compared to laparoscopic surgery, that incision is much smaller than, than it would be otherwise. Whenever you're removing a segment of colon, there's still plumbing that needs to be taken care of. So you have two ends of the tube of the colon that somehow need to be put back together again. In general terms, there are four steps to the process. First, you're going to remove the segment of colon, resect it. Then you're going to have to take it out somehow. We've talked about that through one of the small incisions. You're going to need to put it back together again. That's the reconnection of the plumbing. And the seal and suture, that's, that's kind of combined together in the stapler technology that we use. So the staplers seal and do the function of hand-sewn suturing. We also have the option of utilizing the robot and its dexterity to suture together the ends of bowel as needed.